Hello and welcome to this tech talk. Today's topic is performing object detection using convolution neural networks. We're going to go through this really in three easy stages using Erdas Imagine. First, we're going to look at the machine learning layout tools, which help us uh, capture training footprints and chips uh, of the object that we wish to uh, detect, in this case, palm trees. Then we're going to use the spatial modeler to create a model which takes that training sample uh, database and trains a neural network in how to find that information. And then we're going to use a second spatial model to then apply that trained neural network to other aerial photos to map the location of oil palms in those new images. So the first thing we want to do is find the layout for machine learning. Come up to the file tab. In the layout section, select machine learning. Next, we're going to go ahead and open the image that we want to extract training footprints from. So again, the file tab, open raster layer, go ahead and display that image with uh, no stretch. So we can now see the image with lots of oil palms uh, present in this particular area and we want to count these palms. So we're going to go ahead and use the tools that are available on the machine learning layout to go ahead and extract training footprints and chips. Training is very easy. Come to the train tab. And what we want to do for object detection as opposed to inception is to go ahead and use either object footprints only or object footprints with image chips. We're going to use object footprints with image chips for this example and specify a training directory where those chips are going to be stored. So I'm going to go to a location called Ian's training and this is just a directory where all the footprints and chips are going to get created and saved. Now we give a base name for the type of object we're going to detect, oil palm in this instance, and give it a color. And then we go ahead and collect footprints. I'm going to come up here and pull this menu down and select variable size footprint because our trees are all different sizes. I'm going to lock that tool on and then it's a matter of just drawing around examples of the object you wish to detect. Make sure you get lots of examples, lots of different backgrounds, different sizes, different orientations, whatever it may happen to be, but uh, partial, partial trees and so on. Once we have enough uh, samples, come up and click Save Footprints. And that's it, we're done. We're gonna have the, the software will have extracted the chips and the footprint vectors, stored them in the directory we specified, and we're done creating training samples. Obviously we need dozens, if not hundreds of examples to train a neural network. Uh, so this was just a, an example of doing so. From the human perspective, that's all the hard work done. I've now swapped back to the standard Erdas Imagine layout and started a spatial model editor and created a very small model, first of uh, two models that we will use. Um, this one is going to be used to take that training directory of uh, chips and footprints and initialize an object detection convolution neural network, i.e. to train that neural network. That trained neural network will be fed out as a machine intellect file that we can then use uh, in other models. And the reason we do it this way is so that I can just train once uh, and then classify many times with many new images. Uh, I won't go ahead and run this, uh, even though it's GPU accelerated using a CUDA graphics card. Uh, it will take a little while to train. Um, so we've gone ahead and performed that and produced a machine intellect file. So I might have a new image uh, that also contains oil palm and I want to uh, automatically map where those oil, palm, oil palms exist so that I can count them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up a second spatial model. And 
And this one basically takes uh, that trained machine intellect that we produced with the previous model and inputs the new image, new aerial photography, and performs the object detection and produces a set of features which map the boundaries, the outlines of where those objects exist. And again, it is uh, GPU accelerated, but takes a little while to process. Let's open the resulting features. And you can see the outlines that have been created automatically to delineate where oil palms have been detected. Well, there you have it, a very quick and easy, straightforward way of performing object detection using convolution neural networks in Erdas Imagine. I hope you enjoyed this tech talk. Please watch some of the others and stay safe.